absolutely love this trunk, man. Um, cost me about fourteen hundred dollars, so it was not a cheap purchase. But um, just want to do a little video, give you guys a little idea of what you're looking at if you decide to go with this trunk. This is the Anderson Composite trunk, as you can see with the built-in spoiler, Dr. Bill. Um, when you first get it, you will have to make a few modifications to it, mainly this one right here. You want to have to dremel out this area right here for your third brake light. They make it smaller um, than the opening needs to be for your actual brake light, so you need to take it and dremel it out until your brake light fits in there. Um, some people even elect to get a new third brake light. I didn't go that route. I just reused my stock brake light because I had already had a tenant and I didn't want to go back and you know pay to get a new one and pay to get that one tenant as well. So I, I reused my old brake light. Um, it does have some uh, double-sided sticky tape on it that you have to remove. You can either replace the double-sided sticky tape or you can do what I did and just use some clear silicone sealant around the outside edge of your brake light. And that'll give you that adhesion and um, water proof it as well. Uh, you have to drill out holes for these tabs right here to hold on your felt liner. Um, and you also have to drill out some holes for your um, harness here that attaches to the actual trunk. Um, but it's not that complicated, honestly. Um, also got to drill out some holes for this emergency release. Um, typically, uh, they do give you like a little reference point where you need to drill out. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's like a little dimple. They kind of give you like a little reference point. Uh, kind of give you a general idea of where you may need to drill for these holes. But if you just take your felt liner, put it up there, and maybe take like a little marker or something to you know, mark your holes, you'll be fine. Now you also have to make some modifications for this lock because um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the stock trunk, but it has these two like slots where the lock actually is supposed to like latch into and slide over and that it like kind of temporarily hold it in place until you bolt down the two main bolts that hold it to, uh, hold it to the trunk. Um, but the slots on the Anderson Composite trunk, they're off and they never work. So I don't know if it's because it's, you know, this trunk is a little bit thicker than the stock trunk, but the little notches on the back of the lock, they don't sit far enough in there to engage and slide over. So what you end up having to do is just kind of, you know, drilling out that area a little bit. So those notches on this latch can actually sit back into the trunk so it doesn't sit flush. Um, but again, it's nothing major. It's just a little simple modification. And Anderson Composite, if you're watching this video, I would just get rid of those little slots. Just maybe make some little squares or a little circle area where those notches are supposed to go. Because every single video I've watched, none of those notches line up. So, I'd probably just get rid of them. Probably. But, yeah. Um, I did elect to keep my uh, gas struts installed. Some people take them off because of the uh, weight savings. And some people think the struts are too powerful. Um, because this trunk is a lot lighter than your stock trunk, but for me it works out great. I don't have a problem with them. Shut it, it shuts. So that's that. But um, yeah, I'm gonna do a video. Show y'all this beauty. I absolutely love it. I think it's the best trunk out there for the Camaro. But I know when I was uh, thinking about purchasing this, I didn't see many videos online. showing off the trunk so wouldn't help somebody else out if I can show you what this thing looks like this is guard at red for wonder so yeah go ahead and check it out pick it up cost me about 1400 bucks I know when they first dropped a few years ago, well, yeah, it was probably been like five, six, seven years ago now, but when they first dropped, um, they were only like 900 bucks. But since then, like I said, the cheapest I found was about 1400, unless you can maybe get it used online somewhere. 
Also got my spike lug nuts too. Power coated black. Might do a review on those in a little bit. Um, I like them. I can't remember. The, I think it's the Venom. Yeah, I got them from Venom wheels. I like them, but I do think the metal is a little soft. So I think the torque specs on the Camaro is like a uh, 110 or 120 foot pounds um, for the lug nuts. And honestly, I stripped like three of them. Um, and yes, I did hand thread them first, you know, so they weren't cross threaded. Um, but the metal is just soft. I had to actually take it down, bump it down to like 100 foot pounds because anything over like 100, you start to feel the metal start to stress and fatigue. So I wasn't able to torque them down to 120. Um, but like I said, you know, they look good. You know, so I got them over to like maybe like 100, 105. I didn't want to push it any further than that. Um, but outside of that, they look good. Powder coat finish on them is great. I just think the metal on them is a little soft for my liking. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I'll keep checking them every couple weeks to make sure they're not loosening up on me or anything like that. But, you know, that's that. But all right, YouTube. I'll do a quick little video, man. Show y'all the trunk. Later.